curious gang, it's your London friend Vasi that loves traveling but recently he has also been spending a lot of time in Greece and I thought what a better way to finish my Greek series than a supermarket tour because today the weather, let's just say it's not great, it's starting to rain because it's September and I thought it's the perfect time to go and explore a typical Greek supermarket and now we are in front of the supermarket which is pronounced Masutis, even though it's like written in Greek so it's a little bit hard to understand but I thought we can go there see what are they selling what are the prices and what do actually locals buy are you ready to go I'm sure you are let's go you guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos from London, where I actually live or travel related content, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe because you know you will get tons of tips all for free. We are starting off with some extra virgin olive oil. Ben, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm in the oil department, sorry. 5 liters of olive oil for 23 euros. It's not bad. And here, immediately on sale, we can see like some biscuits. By the way, we see this brand like literally everywhere. It's like Papadopolo, 2 euros 20 for 3 packs. Boom. And over here, they also have like the frappe machine. I have never actually and in case you don't know what frappe is then can I guess that you haven't seen any of my other Greek videos which you should totally do and frappe is like the most typical Greek coffee something which I really really love are like these breadsticks that we always bring to the beach and they're like semi-sweet semi-salty ouch oh my god it was like starting to fall and also something which I see that people always bring to the beach are like this humongous donuts oh my god now that i can smell it it actually smells very delicious and it's like literally as big as my face but it's quite good and here we have like more of this breadstick that i told you that i really like and this is like another famous brand and here they're 150. the supermarket where we are it's actually like very local one and they also sell like honey from like a city which is not more than 50 kilometers from here i really like the fact that they sell a, a lot more local products and they're actually fairly priced as well oh my god in front of me there are like so many cleaning supplies it's actually crazy but something which i really notice in here is that people are literally like cleaning all the time wherever you're walking you see like people cleaning and i guess this is why here we have like all this all this is like cleaning supplies and guess what it's right next to it some biscuits like I don't I don't really understand why and how did they decide to like put it one next to the other oh you guys here they also have digestives but they look quite different from like the digestives that we have in the UK this too cost 250 so like it's also cheaper than the uk and something that you can see is that they eat a lot of tomatoes in here there's people doing the homemade you know tomato sauce you know? yeah exactly because now in the beginning of september it's the time when you would make your tomato sauce so of yeah. course like i'm pretty when you sure you harvest the tomatoes and like you, you make the, the, the salsa and you guys one of the things which i really don't like about greece is the amount of plastic that it's used and especially like like for bottles of water like they don't drink tap water it's normal to get this huge pack of six bottles can you lift, can you lift it i'm pretty sure i can <laughs> do it for your followers okay but this is not the point the point is that i feel like i'm in some plastic world in here and something which we are doing here in our house in Greece is that we have uh, this type of uh, bottle which like clarifies the tap water and after that you can drink it. People also buy it because it's very cheap. Like... Fun fact, do you know what is the word in Greek for water? It is nero and it is written like that.
and something else quite interesting is that you cannot actually buy fresh fish from the supermarket there is fresh meat but if you want fresh fish and not frozen one you should go to a specific fishmonger and you cannot buy it from the supermarket which i find quite odd especially for a country like greece there isn't really a way to avoid plastic but the only good thing is that this is actually a uh, plastic bag which is from recycled plastic yeah it's already separate oh, okay <laughs> Do you guys like figs? So basically this is how you this choose a good. watermelon. Should we get another one? We, we, have, we still have half. And to be completely honest with you, the fresh produce section was also not great, especially considering like all the amazing fruit and veggies that they're in Greece. But like the ones in the supermarket were a little bit overpriced compared to like the smaller shops and also the quality was not as good. And just note, sweet potatoes 270 per kilo versus like regular potatoes just 70 cents. Something which is like super visible in here is that if locals don't eat certain product then like the price goes super high up and like this is pretty much what happens also with the almond milk and like the vegan products that are still not like quite as popular. And never in the world miss this section because it has like the most delicious things like marinated fish, olives and all this deliciousness. Oh, something which, which like I had in Italy and I quite missed and there is also in here, it's like wine which costs like only 2 euros. This is quite what I lived for. This might not be a big surprise, but whatever good people like, we have tons of it. Like, look at all the types of uzu that you can get. It's like literally all in here. If you're wondering which one to get, I would suggest you this brand. I mean, it's actually, it's actually suggested by my dad, not by me. He drinks this all the time and he says it's like super good. One of my favorite cheeses is actually this one because it's like super fresh and light. And if you're wondering how to eat it, like the answer here in Greece, like 99% of the time is just with tomato. Oh, there is also vegan cheese, this one. And this is actually my favorite brand for chocolate in Greece and it's super delicious and I think it's local, I'm not sure, but it's great. Oh my god, this one is like 4 euros. One of my like super favorite things in Greece, like especially sweet, is this thing. Like I could literally like eat one kilo of them, they're so so good. And this one like costs only 2 euros for them. You guys, I don't know if you know this, but like here in Greece, they eat like a lot of tahini, which like looks basically like that, and it's also used to make hummus. But another way of eating the tahini is by adding cocoa powder. If you add cocoa powder, it basically looks like that. The taste is pretty much similar as Nutella, but it is way, way healthier. So. I would really suggest you trying it out and something else which I see is that here there are a lot of imported products from Italy like uh, I see a lot of common things that I used to buy in Milan like for example uh, this brand Valsoia which is for like vegan products was my favorite one when I was living in Italy but it is also a little bit expensive And that's a Greek dessert called halva, which is also super yum. Can someone slap me? Why does 250 grams of coffee cost like 5 euros? And something which always shocks me is like how expensive are eggs, 6 eggs or like... They're over 2 euros, which I don't know, feels like quite a lot to me. And what do you actually guys think? 
How much are the eggs in your local grocery store? And of course, here we have like tons of Nescafe for the fur pack. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Love you all. Bye.